So in Unit 3, um, we're going to be looking at percentages again and actually using them to solve problems. And this is where it can get complex in a way because they do become word problems and you've got to be able to read them and kind of sort out exactly what they're asking for. And that's always the tricky, tricky part. You guys will do stuff like this in Year 10, you'll probably do stuff like this in Year 11 as well, and it really comes down to the language of the question and understanding what they're asking for. But we'll look at it first as basic skills and then we'll kind of mix them all up at the end and see if you can sort it out. So one type of problem at a time. Our first one is find a percentage of a whole. So my keywords here are going to be percentage of. That means I want to know like 4% of 100 or something like that. And it's of the whole. So you've been given, you will be given a percentage and a total or a whole amount like a whole group of students or the original cost of something. And your first step is to convert the percentage to a decimal. And again, this is stuff you should be doing in your head. So 3%, we move the decimal two spots to the left, becomes 0 0.03 times by 20, times by the whole amount, by 20 here. So if I want to know 3% of 20, convert 3% to a decimal, and then times it by that amount. And here I end up getting an actual decimal answer. 0.6. And that's okay. That's 3% of 20. It's a small number because 20 is not that big and 3% of it is a small number. Next example, I want to know 60% of 80. So here I would convert to decimal again. 0 0.60. I'll times it by 80. And when I times 0 0.60 by 80, I get 48. So 60% of 80 is 48. And that kind of makes sense, too, if you think about it. 60% is a little bit higher than 50%. And 50% would be half of 80, which is 40. So 60%, a little bit higher than that, seems about right. The next one, the coupon says that if you only need to pay for 75% of the original price, if you're going to buy a pair of $120 pair of shoes, how much will you pay with a coupon? Okay, so here, keywords. The coupon says that you only need to pay for 75% of the original price. And here, the $120, that was the original amount, or the whole amount. So same process, I'll convert 75 to a decimal, 0 0.75. And I'll times it by 120, because I want to know what 75% of 120 is and this becomes 90. And since it's a word problem here, we can talk about it in units. That's $120 for a pair of shoes, but 75% here, I only pay $90 instead. So, for the find the percentage of problems, again, convert it to a decimal, and then just times by a whole amount. The hard part here is making sure you do the conversion correct. Common mistakes include things like, maybe in this problem, doing something like 0 0.3 times 20. 0.3 is 30%, not 3%, so make sure you get your conversion correct.